Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, Sketch of Parker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can design outside of the building very simple and easy. For example, you don't have any type of idea about your design, but you want to create the first concepts of your project. So let's get to work and jump into it. First of all, I'm going to click on the window model info and check my units in here. As you can see, it's on the centimeter. So right now it's not really good. I'm going to change it to the meter in here. As you can see, very simple and easy like that. Go to the statics in here, purge unused items and fix all the problems for some unpredictable errors. I'm going to press Ctrl S in here and save it on my desktop, this file, for example, name it out building design and I'm going to press save. You can download this file at the end of this video below this video. So I'm going to click on the rectangle in here and start my first concept by the rectangle. I'm going to left click in this place and move it like that. For example, our building size is something like 14 comma 30, something like this, some type of cubic rectangle in here. So uh, I'm going to click on the extrude option, press Ctrl, extrude this face. For example, if we calculate that each floor is 4 meter in height. So for example, this building have 6 floors. So some number about 24 can be enough for it. Some type of concept like this. So I'm going to click on it, convert it to the uh, group in here. Now I want to use components to create new face and new design for this project. First of all, I'm going to click on the tape measure. Tape my first measure about 0.6, another time 3.4, another time 0.6, another time 3.4, like that. And if I click on the line option, I can see 8 meters. So it means two floors generated for me. I'm going to click on the rectangle in here, draw a rectangle in this place, click on it, convert it to the component, and take my first copy in some place like that. My first copy like this. And I want to take multiple copies, so I'm going to type 4x enter, 5x enter, and everything is done. Delete these tape measure lines in here. Now I'm going to draw another type of rectangle for here. Component, enter, take multiple copies, like that. Now time for designing. First of all, I'm going to click on it. So all of them are components, so changes are at the same period of time. Click on the push or pull option and push it a little bit to the outside about 0.2. And for this case, repeat it again, like that, sorry, this one, repeat it like this, and it's almost there. So, next item which I want to add for it is the flexible windows, which can be rotate, open in different type of directions. So uh, I'm going to use rectangle another time, draw my windows, for example, the main lens of this building is 30 meter. So I want 10 windows at this side of my building. I think if I type 3.4 comma 3 is enough for me, something like that. Click on it, component, take my first copy, but I want to rotate them at the opposite angle of themselves. So I'm going to click on the flip option and flip first one at the start point and now take multiple copies. Very simple. I'm going to select this components, deselect my main building side, press control, copy activated for me and take my next copies like that, very simple. So what really happened in here right now, I'm going to show you. Try to extrude it a little bit, something like this, for example, 0.1, another time 
or maybe it's a little bit too much for it, 0 0.6, something like that. And you can see what really happened. I'm going to click on the offset tool in here, draw my offsets to create some frames, like this one and this one. Click on the pushable and push it to the back side a little bit, not too much. For example, 8 cm and for it is about 3 cm. Now I'm going to select this one. Listen carefully. Click on the uh, rotate tool in here and rotate them like this. As you can see what really happened inside of my project. For example, 10 degree is enough for me. Something like that as you can see in here. So another time in this part of my job, I want to use some narrow windows in here. For example, the main size of it is about 14 meter. So I think if I want to use some number like 1.4 comma 3.4 E is enough. Component is activated for me. But this time I want to use some straight components like that. Select them, take some copies in some equal destinations. Now I'm going to select one of them, extrude them. 0 0.1 is enough. Adjust the distance of it a little bit. Now I want to create another type of openers and windows in this case. Something like this one. Now I want to use push or pull option, push it to the back side and another time about 2 cm to the back side. As you can see, if I select one of them, click on the rotate and for example, create these type of openers, you can see what really happen and we can create new type of shape for it. But I want to do some type of another action for it. I don't want to rotate it from this point. I want to select rotate tool and rotate it from center point like that. You can see what really happened. I think it can be really interesting. But the problem is you need to adjust your another safe races. So for this case, we only want to give you some tips and tutorials about SketchUp 2024. So I want to use it about maybe 20 degree. For example, something like that. So. For example, this is the uh, main concept of your building and now you can see how we created very simple and easy in a SketchUp, I think under than maybe 10 minutes. Very simple, only with the groups and components. After that, you can add multiple changes like the textures and some other things for it. So totally, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for everybody who will watching, like and subscribe us and goodbye.